Well, how are you doing? <clears throat> okay, this video is going to be called the Flat Earth Map, right? This is something that we've been asked about for uh, since this topic came back into the into uh, the public arena um, many many years ago. <clears throat> okay, so I made a video some time back about uh, I called it longitudinal reassignment. And the whole purpose of it, I just show, was that on the Gleason's map here, right, as you can see, Australia has several uh, longitude lines going through it. Now, my point was is that Australia is stretched on this map. The longitude, latitude and longitude grid on the Gleason's map, Gleason's map is exactly as it should be. The problem is, is that the, all the continents are given a globe size. So there's nothing wrong with the latitude and longitude grid that is laid out on the Gleason's map in the correct way. It's a flat coordinates grid. That's where it's supposed to be. It's measured from flat plane elevation angles to Polaris. That's where it started. That's where it, the whole thing is derived from. So it's the, the latitude and longitude grid is a grid where all other celestial bodies are referenced from Polaris, that's how it works, right? So, if I have a la if I have a coordinates, a latitude and longitude GP point coordinates of a star over here, that that GP point coordinates is in relation to Polaris, the GP point of Polaris. That's how the latitude and longitude grid works, because it's all derived from Polaris. And how how as you move away from Polaris, it'll drop by sixty nine miles, statute miles per degree, uh, or rise. Uh, by 69 statute miles per degree as you get closer. So the grid here on the Gleason's map or on the AE, AE, uh, uh, AE map is uh, is correct. That's the way it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be placed on, um, made into a circle. And that's how they created the globe by uh, taking the latitude and longitude grid that, ha that had to be measured off a flat plane and they just took took one uh, end of a longitude line and the other uh, an end of a longitude line corresponding to it and just uh, curved them in which gave them a, a circle and they back engineered it from there i've gone through this in the past i have videos about it so <clears throat> i'm not going to go through it again the point is is that the latitude and longitude grid is as it should be when it's shown on the gleason's map but the problem is is the size of the continents and countries especially south of the equator are all wrong they're all stretched because they're given they're given sorry they're given a globe size right now <clears throat> as you can see here i'll show you more on google earth there's three uh longitude lines going through australia here so one two three that would mean that there's that would mean that there's one two three four time zones right in america there is one two, three, four time zones in America. A five if you count counting um if you're counting in Alaska, let's just say, right? But the, on the United States itself, the continent of the United States, let's just say or if you want to call it, uh, you're talking is it four four time zones on that? Uh, from what I can see here. But the point is is that <clears throat> is that there is an almost equal amount of time zones across Australia on the Gleason's map as there is on the United States, right? So the Gleason's map and elements of it are 100% correct, right, in one way. But there's other things that are completely un incorrect. And the the um, <clears throat> the size of the, uh, the the countries and continents south of the equator is the main thing that's incorrect. Now, I showed before <clears throat> with with my latitude uh, sorry longitude reassignment video <clears throat> how Australia was too big, and all that really needs to happen. Is you need to re reassign um, the uh, coordinates. So make Australia the size it should be on the Gleason's map. Reassign the coordinates away from what they're showing here, and you'll have that'll be Australia on a flat Earth map, right? As best we can come up with at present, at present, right? So that would be Australia on the flat Earth map. Now all people latched onto was how I just gave flippant mathematics for it. The, the mathematics didn't matter. All that mattered was the concept. So people understood what I was talking about, but <clears throat> it doesn't matter because here I have a show. I've show. I've did up a geogebra, a geogebra 
uh, project to show it. Um, and I show why um, why the Gleason's map concerning the size of the continents and countries of south of the equator are wrong, but the latitude and longitude grid as a flat grid is correct. It's a 2D flat grid. That's what it is. So, <clears throat> move this out. So, as you can see here, this is a comparison. Australia over the United States, or the United States shown through Australia. As you can see, the two of them are close in size, right? Um, now, what would happen is you would have Sydney, if it was to be correct, you have Sydney and Perth, which we would, would be close to southern latitude, would be close to the southern latitude that Los Angeles is to the north. So Los Angeles is about 32, something like that, degrees north, 33 degrees north, and Sydney, Perth is 30, uh, 1, 32, 33 degrees south. So they're equal. So both countries are equal in, uh, pretty equal in size, and um, they're both pretty equal in position uh, where with USA north of the equator and Australia south of the equator. So pretty equal, pretty in size. Uh, there are some small differences uh, where Australia is probably in some ways a little bit, let's say, uh, um, north to south a bit, maybe bigger, but east to west, the US is a little bit bigger. So <clears throat> Australia, right, including Tasmania, is 2,500 miles east to west, right? That it's, that's its uh, straight line um, flight uh, width, right? 2,500 miles. Um, America is 2,848 miles. Right, so there's 348 miles, uh, or close on 350 miles in the difference. As you can see here, there is a bit of a difference here. So that would be equate to probably a couple of hundred miles there. Um, <clears throat> so there is a small difference, but nothing like the di like it's such a small difference. It can't, um, it can't make up for the problems that I'm going to show. Okay, so <clears throat> if I just go to Google Earth. As you can see, now hopefully you can see it. <clears throat> if I start going in, it starts taking it away a bit. So the main, so it, now you can see it. So you have one, two, three, four. So you, you're talking about, if I just come back out a bit, uh, time zones, you're, you're talking about four, four or five time zones across Australia, according to Google Earth, right? These four or five times. Now as I zoom in, obviously the, there's going to be more longitude lines shown, but the main longitude lines, they are based off 24 hours of sun, right? So <clears throat> there's four or five time zones for, for Australia. Uh, if I come up to, on the globe here, up to America, it's going to be the same. It's going to have to rearrange it north, right? So you have a kind of a similar situation. We have three, four or five time zones across uh, America. Right, so that's it. That's the globe. Oh, sorry, that's the globe, and that's the sizes it, they're given on the globe. Right, but this is the problem. <clears throat> In reality, America has four or five time zones, but Australia, in reality, has no. Oh, I could find it. In reality, it doesn't have. In reality, Australia has two time zones. Right, a time zone is based off of the longitude lines. So they're based off of 24 hours of sun, right? That's where the longitude lines come from. So there are 24, 24 of them, right, make up uh, the full circle, right? So each, depending on what latitude you're at, uh, 24 longitude lines makes uh, makes up, um, main longitude lines will make up the path of the sun. So they're, they're time zones, right? That's the whole point of them. So that's why there's a change. That's why they have a zone each between the, each longitude line is a is another zone. So there's one, two, three zones, blah blah blah. Right, basic basic stuff. Right, all based off of the sun, because we based all our time off of a sun. This from one solar noon to the next solar noon. That's 24 hours exactly. We calculate the 24 hours direct directly from that. That's what it comes. That's where it comes from. So you have 24 hours with 60 minutes. And if for in each hour and sixty seconds in each set in each minute, all based off of the path of the sun, right? Now, as I said, as I showed, on the globe, uh, on the Gleason's map, and on the globe, they're showing here on Google Earth, right? Uh, as a globe, they're showing how Australia has several time zones, <clears throat> but in reality, 
it only has two. So <clears throat> here I have I have this is the full latitude and longitude grid laid out with just the latitude lines, right? Uh, here, the, the means of latitude uh, laid out, right? Um, this here, this if I go in a little bit, that is the equator. This is the outer edge, obviously. That's, so that's zero to ninety, and zero to ninety. Let's just say it right. Uh, or, or sorry, ninety to zero and zero to ninety. Right, that's right. Uh, so, <clears throat> but it doesn't matter because you can do it either way with one eighty, blah blah blah. But uh, uh, that's a uh, for a separate video. But the point is, is that here I have two. I have two uh, longitude, right? Two portions of longitude, right? Now, I, I don't. I'm not saying that this is exactly perfect for Australia, but this is just to show. <clears throat> right, twenty-four. If I use this, if I just go out, if I take the circumference of this circle here, then twenty-four of these will make up that circumference, right? So. This is the exact width of Australia, 2,500. I have 2,515, so there's going to be some small. Uh, I, I would say it's, Australia is not exactly 2,500 miles, right? It's going to probably be 2,510 or 8 or whatever. Right? But as a basic, as a basic, it's 2,500. So that is what 2,500 miles looks like, right? When it's between two uh, um, longitude positions, right? Two portions of longitude, let's call them, right? And may, my vernacular may not be correct for that, but there's three longitude lines here, and only one of the point is that only one of them are intersecting Australia. So, no matter what way I move this, let's say this Australia here, this this uh, uh, ser serrated line in orange, I used orange to represent Australia because it's a natural national color. Um, so, whether I move it left, right, right, whichever. Um, <clears throat> Or yellow orange whichever but if i move it left or right you're still only it's still only going to be intersected by this one longitude line because in reality this is uh australia it only is intersected by one longitude line in reality that's why there's only two time zones so under this circumstance there can only be two time zones if i turn that into a globe then what's going to happen is past the equator these longitude lines are going to come in to meet each other again at the other at uh, the other end of the globe so then there will be more um that will cause the australia to have more um because they will be from this point will be going back into it it'll cause australia to have as many almost as many if not as many um longitude lines going through it as the usa has but there isn't in reality there's only one longitude line goes through, goes through australia um which is impossible on a globe because in reality america the USA, the United States, has four to five time zones, right? In reality, north of the equator, it has. As you can see, you don't understand why. Because there is, if you move that up to here, and you will have several zones going through it. You'll have definitely more than one longitude line going through it. So the point is, is that there's only one way that Australia can have two time zones, and America can have four time zones, five time zones. And that, and, and that is because the earth is a horizontal plane that's the only way it's not possible any other way because anything else you try and come up with won't work the sizes of australia and america are about, about and the united states are pretty equal uh, everything is pretty equal with them their positions north and south of the equator are pretty equal so no matter what you do you can't get around it why is there only two time zones for australia and four to five for for the united states because australia is uh, and, and the United States are on a flat plane. That's why there is no way around that, and that's why no matter uh, no matter what way you twist or turn this, you're still only going to have one longitude line uh, intersecting Australia. Um, south of the equator, there's no way around it. Whereas on the globe, as I said, you know you're going to have more than one. So are we dealing with reality, or are we dealing with a belief? So this is the beginnings of. Well, the real beginnings was my la was my la longitude reassignment video, but this is the a kind of a follow on. You can call this the beginnings if you want of an actual map. Now I'm not a cartographer, but I know all you have to do is take these this map and fix all the sizes of what they should be, right? And you will then have 
something that will be something like a flat earth map. I don't think any world map will be correct, but you will have something that will be somewhat correct. Then that's what you will have. As opposed to this, which is a which is a monstrosity. Um because they stretched out everything because everything stretched out past the uh, past the equator line. So <clears throat> as I said, uh, certain things Gleason got right, 100 percent right. Other things are wrong, and I'm sure Gleason knew they were wrong. Why he why he decided to make the map the way he did, I don't know, but he did anyway. <clears throat> but uh, the one thing it is based off of longitude, so I don't know why he made a map that has incorrect long that has Australia longitudinally longitudinally uh, um, um, from a longitudinal uh, point of view incorrect. I don't understand that when his whole map is based off a of longitude. So why he would decide, who decided to do that, I don't know. But in reality, I know there's only two time zones in Australia and there's four to five in uh, the United States. Whatever that is, is uh, over here. Right? So as you can see, this is the United States here and this is Australia here. So this Australia should be about that size. That's what it should be here, but it's not. So there's no way around it. There's only way for that. For Australia to only have two time zones. Because we know where time zones come from, how how they are how they are created, what they're based on. There's only one way for Australia to have two time zones, and that is that the Earth is not a globe but a horizontal plane. That's fortunate.